How to do subplots in matplotlib. First, we open IPython and we import pyplot from matplotlib as plt. And we'll import numpy as np because we're going to use some functions from there. So first, let's make a domain. We'll just do a np.lint space from negative 10 to 10. And we'll do a 100 points in there. So we're going to make four different spots. We're going to call the first one first. So we'll do plt.subplot. It's going to be 2 by 2. And this one's going to be in the first position. That's why we have three numbers there, 2, 2, and 1. So we type first.plot. And we'll just make this one sine of x and make it red. So we're going to put some labels on here. So we took type first.set underscore title to put a title. And similarly, we type first.set underscore x label for the x-axis. We'll just call that x-axis here. And we'll do the same thing for the y-axis. Now, to make this a little bit more clean, I'm going to put set uh, x ticks to nothing. And I'm going to do the same thing for the y ticks. This is just going to get rid of some tick markers to make it more clean since we're going to have four plots on the same screen. So for the second one, we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're doing it in the second position. That's why we write 2, 2, 2, a 2 by 2, position 2. And we'll plot np.cosine in this one, and we'll make it blue, just a solid line. And let's go ahead and make some labels for this. We'll do the x label first. And let's put a title. We'll call it just cosine of x, since that's what it is. And let's put the Y label real quick. And again, to make it more clean, let's get rid of those tick marks, both on the X and Y axis. Now, as you can imagine, we're going to do the exact same thing for a third subplot. This one's going to be 2 by 2 in position 3. So we'll put a 3 there. Let's make this one X squared, and we'll do a green dashed line. And let's go ahead and label the axis and give it a title. And a Y label here. We'll just do Y axis. I just want to show you how you can label and work individually with your subplots. And let's just go ahead and get rid of those tick marks for this last one as well. And lastly, let's do the same thing for the fourth spot. So we'll do two by two in the fourth and final spot. We'll call this one fourth just to stay with our theme, but you can call it whatever variable you want. And we'll do x cubed and an asterisk for some dots. And let's call this one x cubed and fourth dot set x label. We'll just call it x axis to keep up with our theme and Y label, same thing. And we'll get rid of the tick marks as well. Y ticks. Finally, when, you have, when we have finished making each plot, we can type plt.show to see all of them plotted together as subplots. And here it is, you can see the labels for each individual plots and the titles. Here's the axes that we labeled and the individual titles. We can make it a little bit bigger if we don't want it to overlap so much. Now, if you wanted to put a title for the entire thing, you can put plt.sup title and write a string in there, and that will put a title for the entire thing. And you can put a font size as a keyword. But there you have it. That is how you make subplots using matplotlib in Python.